Yo, what is up my BBC bitches? This is Scooty here, bringing you a quick little story that I have for you guys today. Now this happened the other day at my school, and uh, I'm a sophomore in my high school. I go to St. Michael's. It's a private school, and you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh my god, you're a faggot for going to private school. I've only been there for like two years, and basically because my public school was <laughs> extremely bad. You know, there was like a prostitute stabbed in our parking lot, fights every day. We had to drive city. We had to ride on city buses home, and there'd be like black chicks that fucking fight each other and eat people on the bus, and it was scary as hell. So my mom decided to move me to a, a private school, and in private school is really different. You know, in public schools, I've always been popular. Same thing in private schools. Just in private school, a lot of the people. It's just there's a lot. There's a bigger group of weird people because in public schools, you know, a lot of times when weird people go to public schools, they you know, instantly switch to private schools because they get picked on or whatnot. And so there's, at private schools, there's a lot more, I guess, weird kids, people with, like, disabilities or whatnot and stuff like that. So uh, I'm not saying all kids are like that at private schools, but I'm not saying all private schools are like that. I'm just saying mine is. And so uh, so as a sophomore, well, we, I was supposed to take it as a freshman, but I'm taking it in my sophomore year. It's, this class called Intro to Fine Arts. We have to go through all the fine arts, you know, art, dance, drama, music, and you know, it's pretty stupid. But we, at least there are only like four week, like classes in between both, because it only lasts one semester. So you know, that's I guess manageable. But I, I have a class with basically a whole bunch of freshmen. There's like four other sophomores in my class, and the rest of it's just like 20 freshmen. And there's this one freshman in my class named. Uh, well, actually, I'm not gonna say his name. Uh, just, you know, in case someone hears this and might know or whatnot, and I don't want to offend anybody, but uh, he's, I think he has, like, Asperger's or something, it's some, like, disability where it's hard for you to make social connections or something like that, you're, you're just socially awkward, I don't know, but, um, you know, I'm not meaning to pick on him or anything, and, you know, um, I'm not, like, we, it's not like we go and mess with him or whatnot, you know, but I was, <laughs> this just... I, it's really funny what he did. So um, it's so I guess maybe the second month of school. School's been going on for like two months for me. Or I mean like three months for me. So the second month of school, people started talking about how uh, in biology, in freshman biology, you know, we have this crazy teacher named Miss Graham with like a whole bunch of fucking snakes and shit. And people were like going around telling people how someone walked into the room and saw... Uh, the kid talking to a snake he was like <laughs> trying to like talk to the snake or some shit and they're like what are you doing he's like oh I'm just talking to the snake and <laughs> everyone was like you know saying it was hilarious and stuff like that and talking about it and it sort of became like the story around the school now at first um, he was like you know when people would come up to him and be like hey you talk snake and stuff like that he sort of you know, denied it and stuff like that, and he didn't want anything to do with it, but then he started, you know, to sort of like the attention, I guess, of it, and so he started, like, talking snake a lot around school and stuff, or I think he calls it parcel tongue from, like, Harry Potter or something, and so in my drama class, after we uh, did our, like, we had to do these, like, monologue things, and we were practicing out in, like, the halls and stuff, and there was this other freshman girl in my class, and he wanted to ask her out to homecoming. And so everyone was like, yeah, Jay, do it, do it, do it, and stuff like that. So what he did is he wrote on the board, uh, like, her name, will you go to homecoming with me? Now, uh, like I said earlier, I'm not going to be saying their actual names. Uh, he was like, will you go to homecoming with me? And so when she walked in, he walked up to her and said, uh, you know, will you go to homecoming with me? Or in other words, <laughs> and he's sort of like, fucking speaking snake or some shit and he basically just asked her out speaking parcel tongue or in snake and it was just so funny uh she, she sort of stood there for like 10 seconds and she was like um uh sure <laughs> it was so funny everyone was dying laughing and then we were all like calling him a player and stuff and uh it was pretty fun it was pretty fun class, and then class ended not too long after that, and, you know, he walked off, and a whole bunch of freshmen, you know, guys were surrounding him, like, talking to him and stuff like that, and stuff like <laughs> like, asking him to say, like, shit and snake and whatnot, and so we stayed behind, and I overheard the girl, like, all the freshman girls, like, huddled, huddled up together like they always do, 
and fucking started like talking and shit. And I overheard one say, "Yeah, just make up an excuse why you can't go or some shit like that." <laughs> and you know, I sort of feel bad for him because he did go out on a limb asking a girl out to homecoming, and you know, he has a disability, so obviously it wasn't gonna be something that's comfortable for him. But it's actually kind of good for him, you know, he's getting a lot of attention that he didn't normally get, you know, at lunch he used to go out and sit by himself, you know, me and all my friends, we sit outside at these uh, metal tables, we, there's like 10 of them and we all sit over there, like basically all the sophomore guys, we all sit over there, and he, there's like this wooden table farther out and he sits over there alone, but now, you know, he comes and sits with us and we talk to him about like talking snake and shit and we're like, ah, what did I just say, and he, he said, oh, you just told me to fuck off and I was like oh my bad and something like that and we asked him about how he learned it and shit but anyways guys I hope you like that story it's a hundred percent true I'm not lying but uh, I want to know what's the funniest way you've seen someone ask someone out to homecoming uh did they fucking speak a lizard or owl or some shit so comment below or like comment below what's the funniest like rejection story from someone like asking someone to homecoming like did someone just completely like walk out or something but anyways guys this is Scutio. please rate comment and subscribe and peace.